All right, guys, what's up? It's Alive from the Saba Hacker Hotel. Welcome back to another uh, guide, I guess. This is just my Puppet Master's beginner guide. I guess you could say that. A lot of you guys have been requesting that I do a guide on Puppet Masters, right? So, here it is. As you guys know, I am not good with Puppet Masters. I did one Puppet Master special in my live rank series, and I did have a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun to use a Puppet Master, but... Um, yeah, whatever. What I'm trying to say is if you're good with a puppet and you want to leave some tips in the description, not in the description, in the comment section, then feel free to do so because I'm mainly just going to be giving some of my beginner tips since this video has been requested more than eight times and you guys clearly want to hear my newbie tips. Um, so let's start off with the first tip with the first tip, Jesus Christ, something that you guys should probably know. If you guys dash with a puppet, as you guys saw in my Puppet Master special, and the opponent subs out of it, he's going to spawn right uh, in front of you, which means he's going to have clean passes to Chakra Dash Toe, which you to in your DMs, all of that good stuff, okay? So obviously what you guys clearly want to do is go for another Chakra Dash. Or, if you guys want to bring the puppet back to you guys, um, you guys just want to press R2, and if you press R2, the puppet will go back to you immediately if you guys want to move the puppet after pressing r2 you guys can use the left stick for that obviously this is good to know because if you want to go for a grab at close range you guys can go for a grab as you guys can see right there um, another tip that i can give you guys is to keep your distance i mean if you're a puppet master i mean if you want to get into puppet master uh, after this video that is a good thing to know okay usually puppet masters they keep their distance they're always running away they're always throwing shuriken they're always countering, so if you guys do want to be a puppet master, you know, get used to get used to freaking countering. So your opponent, you know, gets away from you. Also, if you do want to play with a puppet master, get a very large map because the larger the map, the more you can run. Obviously, you don't want to play with a puppet master in the hidden, uh, in the hidden sand village. Okay. So now that I've said that, let's move on forward to. Let me see. Do I have any other tips? No, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, bringing back the puppet. Oh, yeah. Also, another thing. For some reason, I really don't know why, but the guards on the Puppet Masters break very, very easily. And if you guys want some visual proof, check out my Puppet Master special. Um, oh, and by the way, if you guys want an easy Puppet Master to get into, I would recommend Kankuro. Uh, I actually did my Puppet Master special with Kankuro, and it was really, really easy to play with him. Like, very, very fluid, very, very um, nice. Uh, okay, so let's talk about uh, supports. If you guys want good supports for the puppet, I would recommend Orochimaru because the Snake Bird G2 is very good. I would also recommend Naruto because he has the Rasengan train, and even though you friend zone him, the Rasengan train will follow you all over the world until you say yes to the date. Uh, also, if you guys want um, another good support, I would recommend Pain or Nagato or Pain on Nagato, okay? If you guys are just starting out and you guys are beginners into the Puppet Master, like if you guys just want to try out Puppet Masters after you guys watch this video, I would recommend that you guys choose Nagato and Pain, okay? And the reason for that is it's because like that, if the enemy gets close to you, you can just uh, call in Nagato or Pain and they do the almighty push and then the enemy gets away from you. Another thing that you guys can do when it comes down to support, you guys can have two strike back supports. And this mainly just works well with Sasori. This happened to Sheikah's Klaus in his first episode of Ranked. He went against the Puppet Master. And um, yeah, this thing happened to him. So you guys can go for a grab. Actually, you know what? Let me put the health on normal so you guys can see how much damage this does. So I'm gonna go for a grab with Sasori. And keep in mind, I have two strike back characters. Oh, okay. Let me actually redo that again. But yeah, you guys can go for a grab, and that's gonna be some nice damage. Okay, strike back damage, and then I'm gonna go for another grab. That's gonna be grab damage. That's gonna be strike back damage, and then I'm gonna go for another grab. So as you guys can see, that's going to do almost as much damage as an ultimate jutsu. Why? Because he had two strike back characters. So that's a little um, very, very annoying tip that you guys can use um, if you guys are playing with sorcery. Now, if you guys are new, I recommend that you guys choose Kankuro, but, but to each their own. You know, if you guys like Sasori, hey, go with Sasori. You know, it's it's all up to you guys. It's all up to you, like that, uh, uh, you know, by, like like that song by Wusing and Del a uh, long time ago. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this beginner pu uh, Puppet Masters, guys. Like I said, guys, I'm not very, very good with puppets, but if you are good with puppets, uh, feel free to drop just drop all of your tips in the comment sections below because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some people that are interested in playing as a puppet master. 
But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed my newbie tips. If it helped you in any way, feel free to drop the video a mango, a like, a pair. Feel free to subscribe to join the Salvaje Cartel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.